Undercover investigating something that really affects all of us at one time or another, getting your car repaired. This time, investigator Joel Grover has uncovered a new scheme that's never before been caught on tape until now. Joel is here tonight with a th uh, latest on his three-month investigation. Joel. Well, Paul, imagine going to get your car repaired, paying for it, and then finding out the work was never even done. With the help of insiders, we've uncovered an apparent scheme at some repair shops that are part of a nationwide chain with 30 million customers a year. 40, 60, 80, 100. We shelled out a lot of cash. 300 bucks. At repair shops across town. 20, 40, and 5. But were the repairs we paid for really done? Listen to this former insider. Does this happen to customers a lot? Every day. Customers of America's biggest lube and tune chain, Jiffy Lube. <laughs> to conduct our investigation, we wired two test cars with hidden cameras in places we'd never put them before to watch mechanics from every angle. Then we drove one of those cars to this Encino Jiffy Loop to get an oil change. A service advisor named Leo recommends more repairs, like changing the fuel filter. Fuel filter, 48 months or 6,000 miles. We tell them, go ahead and do it. 240. And then we pay up. But they didn't change the fuel filter. We know that because before taking our car in, we lowered the gas tank so I could get to the fuel filter and mark it with a big four. After leaving that Encino Jiffy Lube, we checked the fuel filter, and the original one with the four was still in the car. Why didn't they change the fuel filter? So easy for them to get away with it. Now, why go through the trouble of doing it? You charged us hard-earned money for a repair that you never did. We'll come back to Leo in just a minute. But first, watch what happens when we take our other test car to this Jiffy Lube in Canoga Park. I'll change the transmission fluid. A manager named Anthony recommends a top-of-the-line transmission flush. When you do the transmission, how does that work? What do you do it with the machine. A machine called T-Tech, which they're supposed to hook up to the transmission lines under the car to suck out all the dirty fluid. But the entire time our car was being serviced, we noticed no one ever touched that machine. And our hidden camera shows no one ever touched the transmission lines underneath. But they charged us for the T-Tech service anyway. It happened to us again at Jiffy Lube in Glendale. It sucks all the fluid out. And in Sherman Oaks. It's called the T-Tech service. And in Burbank. And you guys did this T-Tech thing yeah. too. Cool. We got stiffed at five out of nine Jiffy Lubes we tested. And no one would explain why. Hi, Leo. I'm Joel Grover. I'm like Joel. Leo at the Encino yes, store. You charged us for a new fuel filter, but you never put it in this car. Why? I don't remember, to be honest. Can I show you yourself on videotape? Yeah. But he remembered... Okay. Right. Fuel filter, 48 months or 6,000 miles. When he saw himself on tape... How do you explain this? I don't know, to be honest. And he rushed away... Were you trying to make an easy buck off us? No. ...to call his district manager. Channel 4 is right here. Well, they caught us on camera. They didn't change the fuel filter on our Jeep. And what would Anthony say... Or how are you? How are you this far? ...at the Canoga Park Jiffy Lube? There was a camera in here watching you the whole time. You charged us for a transmission service that you never did. Why? Sir, sir, like I said, you, you would have to um, talk to my district manager. So we tracked down the district manager, Stephen Ayub. Yeah, are you Steve Ayub? No, I'm not. Who denied his identity. Are you the district manager? No, I'm not. He tells us he's just a customer. My name's Alex. Alex, which is your car? That one. Which one? The red one. But that red car... That's your red Camaro back there? Yeah, what's going on with it? ...belonged to another customer. And the district manager was lying to us. I think you're the district manager. I'd like for you to turn off the camera, and I'd appreciate it. Well, Jiffy Lube confirmed to us in this email that was the district manager. Now, they wouldn't speak with us on camera, but in a statement, they told us they take KNBC's allegations seriously, will investigate this matter fully, and take appropriate actions to prevent further occurrences. And they promised to refund us all the money for all those repairs that were never done. More of our investigation tomorrow. What, five out of nine places stiffed you? Stiffed us. Charges for repairs they did not do. Anybody in upper management talk to you at all? They will not speak to us on camera. They say it wasn't to their benefit. Okay.
We drilled holes in the underside of this car so we could hide tiny cameras to watch Jiffy Lube technicians at work. 240. What we found is that they didn't always do the repairs they charged us for. In my opinion, they're committing a crime. They're selling you something knowing they're not going to change it. Like at this Jiffy Lube in Glendale, where they sell us a $100 transmission flush. There's a special device which you can put it into the transmission. It sucks all the fluid out. But that device just sat in the corner, and our cameras show it was never hooked up to the transmission lines as promised. 20, 40, they still charged us for the work. 20, 40, and plus. This footage you've shown me makes me furious. That was Jiffy Lube's spokesperson three years ago. This is wrong and it needs addressed. It looks like it needs an engine flush. When we caught employees come here, come here. selling us unnecessary repairs, a violation of company policy. It's just dirty. Jiffy Lube promised to conduct additional training to prevent more violations of their policies. The training's a joke. This insider says part of that training was how to spot a Channel 4 undercover customer. Instead of telling us not to do these things, they're telling us how to avoid getting caught doing it. But we caught them just last month at a Jiffy Lube in Encino. Before taking our car here, we marked the oil filter with a happy face. A technician there tells us they're going to change the fuel filter and oil filter. So that's 207 for what now? The oil change? Oil filter, oil change, and the transmission. But watch this. They bring over a new oil filter, set it down on our car, but then a few minutes later they take it away without ever putting it in. After our visit, I found the old filter was still in there even though we'd been charged for a new one. The problem comes from up top. Our insider says management, like the district manager Stephen Ayub, pushes employees to meet these internal quotas, to sell at least $66 of services per car. These targets are known as budgets. If you do not meet the budgets consistently, they're going to find somebody else that can. So your job is on the line. He says the only way to meet your quota is to sell as many services as possible. So they don't have time to perform each and every single service that they sell. Which could be why the Jiffy Lube employees who we caught undercover I don't know. wouldn't talk to us. Can I set up an appointment to talk to you? No. Even the district sure manager tried to manager duck here? our questions. You're not Stephen A.U. No. By pretending to be someone else. I think you're Stephen A.U., the district manager. Uh, I'm not Stephen A.U., but I'm not a district manager. Could I see some ID? No. Tonight we've learned that America's biggest name in car repair is making sweeping changes and that it's in direct response to Joel Grover's investigation, Is Your Mechanic Cheating? Joel is here right now with some new developments. Joel. Well, Colleen, it was just three weeks ago that we uncovered a scheme at local Jiffy Lube stores where customers were charged for repairs that were never even done. Now, in this email, Jiffy Lube tells me it's taking aggressive steps to stop the fraud that we uncovered. This Sherman Oaks Jiffy Lube is closed today and tomorrow because the company is retraining all the employees. Four other L.A. area stores are also closed. All stores that we caught on tape charging for services 20, 40, and plus. like a transmission flush I'll change the transmission fluid. that were never done. After our investigation aired, dozens of customers, like Dory Rodine of Canoga Park, wondered if the same thing had happened to them. Do you think Jiffy Lube ever charged you for repairs they didn't do? Uh, I'm very concerned about that. To ease those concerns, Jiffy Lube says it's installing video cameras in 31 L.A. area stores so customers can make sure the repairs are really getting done. Jiffy Lube has also fired six employees who we caught on tape, like this one at the Encino store, who sold us a new fuel filter, but later admitted to the district manager they didn't do the work. Channel 4 is right here. Well, they caught us on camera. Yeah, also just, gone is the no. district manager, Stephen Ayub. Are you the district manager? No, I'm not. Who denied his identity to me three weeks ago when I tried to question him. Uh, I'm not Stephen Ayub, but I'm not a district manager. Could I see some ID? No. This is now the third time since 2003 hey, like that Jiffy Lube flash. told us it was cleaning up its act. This is wrong and it needs addressed. 
With these latest changes, Jiffy Lube hopes customers like Dory yeah. Rodine will give it one more chance. Are these steps enough to get you back as a customer? That's difficult to say, Joel. I'm really not sure. Now, you might wonder why someone from Jiffy Lube didn't appear in this report. Well, the company still won't sit down and talk with us about our investigation or even about the steps they're taking to clean up. And these are pretty comprehensive steps from but what we've seen. You're going to keep seen. trying, aren't you? We are. All right. We Joel, thanks a lot.